Okay, so you know how second graders, they have these like completely limitless imaginations. Oh, absolutely. It's incredible. It's like, how do we tap into that? And not just, you know, for like school assignments, but to like really get them loving to write. Right. Because that's what sticks with you. Totally. So that's our deep dive today, looking at 50 second grade journal prompts. It's from La Stallion. And don't be scared off by the journal part. It's not about forcing diaries on them. Exactly. Though if they want to write about Spider-Man 20 times, more power to them. This source gets that kids are all so different. It's finding the prompts that click with your kid. You know, and they have a ton of variety, which is key. We're talking personal stories like what if scenarios that are out in this world, stuff about nature, even pumps to get them thinking about their dreams for the future. Yeah. And that's huge, right? It gets them imagining all the possibilities out there. For sure. OK, but I got to jump into this one section that just like blew my mind. It's called imaginative stories. OK, yeah, those are always fun. One prompt that got me was imagine you could talk to trees. What would they say? Oh, wow. Can you imagine what a second grader would come up with? I mean, it's brilliant because it takes something so ordinary, right? Like a tree. Uh -huh. And suddenly it's this mysterious, wise being. You're not just saying write a story. You're changing how they see the world. Totally. And yeah. it makes you wonder, what would a tree say? If it could talk. Yeah. Gets those creative gears turning right. Oh, for sure. Okay. But get ready for this one. It's a wild ride. The prompt is, describe a day where everything goes wrong. How do you fix it and make things better? Oh, the disasters they'll come up with. Oh, absolutely. And the solutions, right? Like pure comedic gold, probably. And they're problem solving without even realizing it. It's great. Exactly. But it's not all wild stories. This source gets that even the little everyday things. Those can be great writing material, too. Right, right. That's where the daily life and activity section is so smart. Yes. There's even one about describing your favorite game to play with friends. Like, capturing those playground memories. It's like taking those little adventures they have and making them, I don't know, more real somehow. Totally. Like a little time capsule of their second grade life. Right. And when was the last time you thought about, like, the feeling of playing tag on a hot day? The sounds. Oh man, now you're taking me back. Those are the memories that fade so fast if you don't hold on to them. Exactly. Writing can do that. It makes them savor those experiences, you know? Appreciate their world. I love that. Okay, but it's not all light and playful. This source also dives into some deeper stuff, like with sections on nature and environment and dreams and aspirations. Oh yeah, those are the prompts that can really get them thinking, you know? <laughs> it's bigger than just a story then. Right. Like, there's this one that asks, describe the most beautiful place you've ever been. What made it so special? I love that. It makes you realize beauty is so subjective. What I find amazing, someone else might not even notice. And that is a powerful lesson for a second grader, you know? Everyone sees the world their own way. Totally. And then they take it further with the dreams and aspirations. Remember wanting to be astronauts? Firefighters? Oh, yeah. I was going to be a veterinarian. Very briefly. This source taps into that. Prompts about what they want to be when they grow up what they'd invent to help people. Oh, I love that. It's not just careers. It's about using their imagination to make the world better. Yes. And then there's the emotional intelligence these prompts bring out. Like, one asks them to describe a dream they had. Oh, wow. That opens up a lot. Right. It's like permission to explore those big feelings, but in a safe, creative way. It's amazing what comes out when they put those thoughts on paper. It's like they're not just writing. They're like, bottling up those feelings, those sensory details. And honestly, when we do that, when we like really pay attention to those everyday moments, it makes you appreciate them more, you know? Oh, 100%. Like, I bet you can remember a specific time you played tag as a kid, right? But could you have described it before we started talking about it? That's such a good point. Our memories are fuzzy, but if you can write it down. It's like a superpower. Freezing time, remembering how things really felt. Okay, that's a great way to put it. So we've got these imaginative prompts, these everyday life ones, but then La Stallion, they take it up a notch. There are sections on nature and environment and dreams and aspirations. Oh yeah, those get into some deeper stuff. Right, and it's not just writing a story anymore, it's making them think about like big picture stuff. It's like philosophy for second graders, in a good way. Totally, there's this one prompt it asks, describe the most beautiful place you've ever been, what made it so special? Ooh, that's getting deep. Right. Because beauty is so personal, what I find beautiful, you might be like, oh, okay. <laughs> exactly. And to realize that at that age, that everyone has their own view, mm -hmm. that's huge. 
and important, right, to value your own perspective, even if it's different. 100%. And then you've got the dreams and aspirations section. Oh, yeah. I remember wanting to be astronauts and all that. Oh, for sure. For sure. Still kind of do, to be honest. This source taps into that. Prompts like, what do you want to be when you grow up? What would you invent to help people? It's like, how do we keep that spark alive, even as adults? Because that's where the good stuff comes from. It's true. It's true. And I love that it's not just about careers. It's about them thinking, how can I make a difference? All right. Like, even at that age, they could be little world changers. Okay. And can we talk about the emotional intelligence stuff for a sec? Oh, yeah. There's a lot packed in there. Like, one prompt is just describe a dream you had. Which, wow, at that age, dreams can be so vivid, so weird. Oh, right. It gives them a way to talk about those big feelings, but through writing, you know? It's safer sometimes. Yeah. And who knows what they'll reveal about themselves in the process. And that's what I think is so cool about this source. It's not just about, okay, kids, time to write your essay now. Right. Like, this is a life skill, not just homework. Totally. It's showing them that writing can be F-U-N, you know? Yeah. It can be personal. It's their voice. And I think we forget that sometimes, how powerful that is at that age. Yeah, to have something be yours that you created. I remember in second grade, I had this diary and I'd write in it all the time. Oh, I had one too. With the little lock and key. It was very official. Yes. And it wasn't for school or anything. It was just for me, you know, to process stuff. And that's what the source is getting at is that self-discovery, that love of language that can turn into so much more... It really can. Like, we've talked about all these prompts, the silly ones, the thought-provoking ones. But the big picture is, this isn't about the prompts themselves. It's about what they unlock in a kid. It's giving them the tools to, like, build their own world, even if it's just on paper. A hundred percent. Imagine if every kid had that, you know, to express themselves, to yeah. tell stories. The world would be a different place. I really believe that. Right. More understanding, more creative. All from something as simple as writing. And it is simple. We overcomplicate it as adults. That's true. That's true. So from all these prompts we've talked about, is there one that really sticks out to you? Ooh, that's tough. I think the one about describing their favorite hero is really powerful. Oh, yeah. Because it's not just about superheroes, right? It's about who they look up to and W-H-Y. Exactly. What qualities they admire, which says a lot about them, you know? It's a window into their values, their sense of what's good in the world. I love that. Well, there you have it, our deep dive into the world of second grade writing prompts. Hopefully this has given you some ideas, maybe even inspired you to do a little writing yourselves. Hey, never too late. Exactly. <laughs> Until next time, happy writing, everyone.